closed sales have decreased in Sarasota County and inventory is still on the rise. Are we heading to rock bottom or is it just the normalization of the market? I want you to be sure to watch to the end of this video and I'll reveal an astounding stat that will blow your mind and will give you a perspective that will clarify where the market is heading and a couple of strategies that you might want to consider. Hey everyone, as always, I'm Troy Sacco with Generous Property Real Estate, here to discuss our local real estate market. Every month, we analyze the previous month's numbers to help guide our clients to make the best decision possible when it comes to buying and selling real estate. Before we start, please do me a favor and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified about all our latest videos. Now let's start with single family home sales. In Sarasota County, we are still in a seller's market with just two months of inventory. There's a total of 678 single family homes that sold in July of 2022, down 27% year over year. The median days on market has increased to 10 days. That's five days more than a year ago. New listings entering the market is up 57%. The median sale price increased by 31% to $525,000. With townhomes and condos, we're still also in a seller's market with just 1.8 months worth of inventory. We have 626 condos and townhomes for sale. That's 121% more than one year ago. There's a total of 289 units that sold in July of 2022. That's down 25% since this time last year. The median days on market has increased to 10 days, up from six days just one year ago. And the median sales price increased 24% from last year to $390,990. As we move forward, if you're finding this video helpful, tap on the like button, or you can leave a comment down below. We would love your feedback on where you feel the market might be headed. Now we come to the luxury market in Sarasota County. By luxury, we mean properties that are over $1 million. Here, we are moving towards a balanced market with 4.1 months of inventory. We have 472 luxury homes for sale. 299 went under contract, which is 51% higher than last year. There's a total of 107 luxury homes that sold in July of 2022, which is almost 8% less than this time last year. The median days on market has increased to 14 days, and that's up from 11 days just a year ago. So what do these numbers point to? Well, buyers have more options. There's more inventory, and homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer. And the biggest factor by far for this is that mortgage rates are the highest they've been since December of 2008. As of this recording, mortgage rates for a 30-year loan are between 5 and 6 percent. Nationally, the average mortgage payment is around $1,613 a month, which is 60 percent, 60, not 16, 60 percent higher than just over one year ago. And if you're wondering how that could be, Home prices have gone up significantly while simultaneously interest rates have gone up. Keep in mind, 73% of all current mortgages are locked in at below 4%. The reality is that person doesn't want to move unless they really need to. They don't want to give up their 3% mortgage. And that's going to be a major factor going forward with regard to inventory of quality homes available. And I'll end with this astounding stat that I had to read twice to make sure it was correct. We are currently in the midst of 125 consecutive months of year-over-year -year price increases. You heard that right, over 10 years of year-over-year -year price increases. Well, of course, with inflation and higher interest rates, that likely will end early in 2023 if things continue on their current trajectory. But here's the key with real estate when it comes to your personal finances. Buy something you can afford and you expect to live there for at least seven years. And historically, you'll come out okay. The counter of that, of course, is if you know you're likely to move in three years, you should probably rent. 
Well, that's it for this month. I'm going to leave a link in the section below to the full press release from the Realtors Association of Sarasota and Manatee, which includes additional statistics and charts for you to review at your convenience. I hope you found this information helpful. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave us a comment below, hit the subscribe button to follow our channel. If you're thinking of buying or selling here in Southwest Florida, reach out to us. Our contact information is below. And remember, the more you focus on the good, the more good comes into your life. We'll see you next month.